Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SimABCXYZ Car Show. I think that's a good name for what we should call this for now. If you guys know of any other names, leave a comment in the comment section down below. But what is this, you may ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is essentially a video series that we're going to do of me reacting to your cars. Now, you might be thinking, how can I get my car in your video? Well, you can send an email to streetracetalk at gmail.com, S-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-C-E-T-A-L-K at gmail.com. Com. And in your email, I ask that you provide your name or YouTube username, preferably your YouTube username, because that's what I know you all by, year, make, and model of your vehicle, and then a couple pictures of it, and finally, like a brief description of your car. And I think all of those that have sent pictures of their cars, some people sent multiple vehicles, and I can't thank you guys enough. I was looking through some of the cars that we got for this episode here today, and the variety just some of the vehicles you guys simply have are phenomenal. I thank all of you that sent your cars in for this new series. And we only have about half of the vehicles that have been sent in already. If you sent in two vehicles, your second one will be shown in next week's edition of the CNBC XYZ Car Show. Because for me, I unfortunately don't have any car shows to go out to. It sucks. I love going to them, but there aren't any going on around me. So I'm like, you know what? How about we do a weekly series where I just look at the cars you guys have. So we will be beginning this series today. I will most likely do this every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time because typically I go to car shows Friday, Saturday nights. But unfortunately, there aren't any going on. And Friday, we already got Street Race Talk. So Saturday made the perfect day for this CNBC XYZ car show. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this today. Starting off with the very first vehicle from Richard Wise. You said, this is my 1971 Nova that my dad and I built. Got the car as a senior in high school. Was a straight six with power glide. Now has fuel injected small block 406 and Tremec T. KO600. For suspension is full ride tech coilover system. Rides very nice and my family and I cruise it all over the place when we can. Next will be AC to make the summers more enjoyable in OKC. And look at this right here. This first picture you sent, you guys have already seen the first picture by now. It was just phenomenal. Then I love the air cleaner. How you got like the wood grain design on the top of it. That looks phenomenal. And just the simple, the color of this car looks beautiful. This thing is so cool. And this was the first vehicle that was sent in for this. I was like, man, we're starting off the very first episode with the very first car with a bang, with this beautiful Nova right here. Then the second vehicle is from Perry Lankford. You sent in your 1927 Ford T-Bucket, 454 Chevy Turbo 350. You said, don't give up on your dreams. It only took me 40 years to get it. Look how cool this thing is. Those T-Bucks are like an iconic car. And I love seeing these things at car shows. And I think it's perfect for like little kids to go see at car shows because it reminds them of like Hot Wheels and that kind of stuff and like toy cars they play with. And also too, like look at this vehicle right here. The engine is right there. The exhaust is right there. Everything's just so up close and easy to see. You can see the brakes and everything on the other side of the front wheels. It's just so cool. I love these things. These cars are so sweet. Every time I see one at a car show, I have to go check it out. And I love the whole green color scheme you got going with the car. Oh, I didn't even notice the hood ornaments. You got like the dog with like a wolf with the green top hat. That is sick, man. That's an awesome car. Then Rick Over with the next vehicle. You sent in your 2017 Shelby Super Snake. 750 horsepower, supercharged 5.0. This thing is insane. And I'm not going to lie. I like the newer trucks that like Ford and Chevy have been putting out. A lot of people hate on them, but I'm like, I think the front ends look pretty sweet. And this is a perfect example of it. You got the Shelby paint scheme, the blue with the white, the Cobra decal on the grill. Oh man, this thing is sweet. And I bet it's a blast to drive as well. Then the next vehicle is from Piranha 79 Belasque. You sent in your 1979 C10 355 cubic inch Chevy small block automatic with a 411 Posse and its name is Piranha. Man, this thing looks sick. The 411 Posse, I got the 410 in Betsy. It's pretty fun and pretty sweet. But I love these pickup trucks because it's the same body style as the muscle truck from Roadkill. And I just love how these things are. And it, this reminds me so much of Betsy because it's all ratty, all beat up, but I'm sure you have a blast driving it. These things are just so cool because every time 
there's so much space when you're in these things, no matter where you are, the bed, the cab, the engine bay, underneath, they're so spacious and so awesome. I love this thing right here, man. Thank you so much for sending it in. Then, Brian Hawes, H-A-W-E-S, I, Brian H, I apologize, I'm bad at pronouncing you guys' last names. You said, hello, Sim, this is my Betsy. I call her Torque Monster. 1978 Trans Am, 500 horsepower, 455 posse with four, 342 gears, TCI 350 turbo trans, two and a half inch true dual exhaust running flow masters, cam ratchet shifter with the pretty radical comp cam. My neighbors hate me when I crank her up right now, dropping in a new Butler 700 horsepower motor, TTVE, keep up with the great content. Man, that is awesome, dropping in the Butler, You're like big chief, man. Look at this thing, I love these cars. Every time I see these at the show, I always check them out because they're just, man, they're so cool. This is just like Birdman's first car as well. You got the Kragers on there. I love the uh, Firebird or Phoenix decal on the hood of this one because it's like black and silver. You got the silver decal for the Trans Am as well. Is that normal? I don't recall ever seeing one with the silver one, but it, it looks phenomenal. That's probably my favorite version I've seen of the Firebird or what Fire Chicken, whatever you want to call it, on the hood of the car. It looks Sweet, man. It's a beautiful car right there. Then Skyward Wings said, Hi, Sim. Thank you for the car show. Love your show. Hey, thank you for that, man. You said, My name is John Pelton Sr. My car is a 1997 Ford Mustang GT. It was modified in 2017 into a pro street slash race car and is a carbureted 302 347 stock engine with a built automatic AOD trans 8.8 .8 rear end with 430 gears. Man, we have had some crazy gear ratios today and look at this thing right here you got the mini wheelie bars out the back the Kragers as well the monster meats in the back you got the air cleaner coming out of the hood this thing looks awesome man thank you so very much for sending it in then the next vehicle is from scott hunter and you said hey sim my name is scott hunter or red 68 hey thank you for that giving us both names so i know who you are now on youtube it is a 1966 mustang coupe mildly built 289 stock interior, four-wheel disc brake, four adjustable coilover shocks, and has an adjustable rear mount rack and pinion. And this car looks beautiful. Looks like, it reminds me of the Mustang out of Tokyo Drift. That car was phenomenal. And I love the green because in the first picture here, it looks like a super deep, dark green. Then in the second picture here, it gives off like a completely different look when it's shining right in the light. This car is super cool, man. I like your wheels you got on as well. It looks awesome. And you also sent in this here. You made Betsy in No Limit 2 a shout out to you for that. This car looks wicked. I don't think Betsy will ever get to this point one day, but this was a radical car and I had to throw it in here as well. Then the next vehicle is from 454SS Raymond E. You said, can I show both projects? And we'll actually be showing your second one in next week's episode. You sent in for the first one this week, your 5.3 swapped 99 4x4 Tahoe. And this thing is sweet, man. My friend had a Tahoe himself. God rest that thing's soul. It is gone. Who knows where now? But this thing you've got here is sweet. The 4x4, I bet it is a blast to drive. Thank you so very much for sending it in. Then the final vehicle this week is from AB the Barber. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for all the content support on all my videos. You were the one that was on me for getting this series put together and we're finishing off the very first episode with one of the two vehicles you sent in as well you said i don't have a new picture it's now airbagged and has 22s inch rambler wheels but it is in storage it is a 1972 chevy c10 step side passed down from my dad that is awesome man like a almost like a family heirloom now being the vehicle itself but I don't know if you're going to paint it a different color. I hope you're not because how this thing looks right now, it's like a off-white cream color almost. This, that's one of my favorite colors you can have on a vehicle. This color of your truck right here, I think is so cool. I appreciate the pictures you sent in. You said you don't have any updated recent ones. I'm going to be on you now to send us some updated pictures of this truck, but this thing looks so cool, man. It is a beautiful vehicle. The step side, again, kind of the similar body style to the muscle truck, but that color, man, the color is so good. It is a phenomenal 
looking truck. And that is all for the first edition of the Sammy Sex YZ Car Show. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Shout out to everybody that sent in your cars. There was a whole bunch of people that already sent in their cars that unfortunately weren't in this week's episode because I want to keep these videos right around like 10 minutes long so I can get in a decent amount of cars, but it's not dragged on where I'm like talking too much about them. I felt this was a perfect kind of pacing for how I had this video. If you guys have any advice, please leave it in the comment section down below. Again, to all those that sent your vehicles, I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Just when I was scrolling through, getting all the pictures and stuff and like getting all the information you guys have said about the cars, the variety of vehicles you guys sent, just how there were some vehicles that were very similar to Betsy, then some, some vehicles that were truly like masterpieces. It's just so cool to see. And I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos and sending in your vehicles. It truly means a lot. I can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys tune in next Saturday for the second edition of the Sammy Sex YZ Car Show. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Sammy Sex YZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sam ABC XYZ signing out.